My colleagues will explain um, this in greater detail to you. You might recall a sentence used in our e-workshop last March, namely, our aspiration with the ECITARO is not to be the first, but to be the best. I'm sure we are the best with the ECITARO and the e-mobility systems, and we want to continually strengthen this position. As you've heard, the new ECITARO is the first step towards electrifying public transport with omnibuses. Today, I can already present the second and even the third step to you in detail. The decisive point is rapid development of battery technology. We also want to offer the best solution to our customers. This is backed by a clearly defined strategy by means of which we raise public omnibus transport to a new level in just a few short steps. Let me take you with me on a short excursion into the realm of cell chemistry and battery technology. In the ECTARO, we are using lithium-ion batteries. Others do so as well. But not all cars are the same, and not all batteries are the same either. To be more precise, our battery contains lithium, nickel, manganese, cobalt oxide cells. And you don't have to remember that. The acronym for that is NMC. This composition facilitates high-performance charging with high charge currents. Thanks to their energy density, they can achieve high ranges as well. So we deliver a premium bus with premium technology. In 2018, that means with these batteries, the ECTARO, under ideal conditions, can drive up to 250 kilometers. Now, in a hot summer, with the air conditioning running, it's at least 150 kilometers. And you know, when we say 150 kilometers, we mean system-relevant range. That is, this is a reliable statement that uh, offers planability to public transport companies for for 365 days per year. This covers about a third of the routes relevant for public transport companies without intermediate charging. You might recall these figures from our e-workshop in March. Now, four months later, we've come up with a concrete timetable for the future of e-mobility. In as little as two years, that's in 2020, the ECTARO will be equipped with the next generation of NNC batteries. With the same weight and package space, they will be 35% more powerful. And for the solo bus, that gets us to 330 kilowatt hours. Design and connectors are exactly identical. So we can con make a conversion with plug and play. And then we have a system relevant range of 200 kilometers under difficult but realistic conditions. And this will cover 50% of the routes, of course, without intermediate charging on the route. And we can even do more than that. We can optimize today's ECT tower with that new technology because it's upward compatible. So transport companies will be offered uh, an update of battery modules one-to-one. -one. This way, they can increase the um, efficiency of their buses. And we lay our cards on the table. The cells will still be from Samsung. The batteries come from our development partner, Ecosol. At the same time, we're taking a sep second step. And with this, I'm already announcing a world premiere for tomorrow. At the same time, that's in 2020, we'll be the only large-scale producer offering a lithium polymer battery. They also belong to the category of lithium-ion batteries, but the electrolyte is in solid state here. That's why they are called solid-state batteries. 
You might want to know who the supplier is. With this technology, we are exclusively working together with Blue Solutions, a subsidiary of the French Bolloré Group. Why a second additional technology path? Well, solid-state batteries impress with longevity and a very high energy density. For the solar bus, we're talking of about 400 kilowatt hours capacity. But they are not suitable for high-performance charging, and they are not compatible with NMC technology. So buses required with these um, require a different operating strategy. The advantage of solid-state batteries is that in 2020, we get a range of 250 kilometers, which will cover 70 percent of the lines. Solid-state batteries are lighter, but um, they have a bigger volume. That's why in the easy tower we have stuck to the former engine tower in the rear. We need this space for um, batteries, because even on the large roof of a city bus, things are eventually getting a bit squeezed. So these batteries are a second path that we're taking in parallel to um, the NMC development. Also, when it comes to the easy tower, Every transport company should get the technology that it needs for their requirements. This way, we are following a general winning formula of the Citaro series. When we're taking the steps towards the second battery generation, the time will have come for the articulated eCitaro. The eCitaro G will be offered either with NMC or solid state batteries. But we are going even further than that. You might also recall our Vision 2030. The idea was that battery-driven electric buses can have a high range of about 400 kilometers and will then cover almost all uh, city bus lines. This is still true. But um, it takes a bit too long, to be honest. That's why we'll take the easy tower to the fast lane and equip it with an in-house fuel cell as a range extender. It will be designed for a range of 400 kilometers, which will cover almost 100 percent of all routes without intermediate charging on the route. So our timetable is set. We we now launch the new Isitaro with the current NMC battery to be followed in two years by the new Isitaro, either with solid state batteries or with the next generation of NMC batteries. And soon after that, the electric um, Isitaro with range um, extender will be available. Due to this fast development, we prefer depot charging with a plug, although we also offer pentagraphs or charging rails um, for intermediate charging to our customers, of course. But additional charging stations on the route considerably increase capex and the complexity of e-mobility. If possible, we want to do without them and make life as easy as possible for our customers. So much on the world premiere of the e -Citaro. Including its development stages, it constitutes the decisive step towards zero emission omnibus traffic in the cities. With the Easy Taro, we are claiming the role of technology leader for electrically driven city buses. And there is a second area where we expand our technology leadership as well. For Mercedes Benz and Cetra, our motto continues to be safety first. Let's stay with the city bus because this will profit most. Last autumn, we showed you um, Sideguard Assist as a world premiere. It warns the driver um, with a radar system when there are pedestrians, uh, cyclists, or stationary obstacles next to the vehicle. At first, the system warns that there are people or objects. If a collision is imminent, there will be vibration in the driver's seat and optical warnings in the dashboard and in the right outside mirror. 
Some of you asked me a year ago when Sideguard Assist will be available for the Citaro, for a city bus constantly has to turn right in city traffic. Here you are. Be it Citaro, Citaro G, or even Capacity, all of them are now available with Sideguard Assist and will support the driver. And we haven't forgotten the coaches, be it Cetra Comfort Class 500, Top Class 500, or Mercedes-Benz Turismo. They are all available with Sideguard Assist now. For us, it is clear that Sideguard Assist is another milestone in the the development of safety for Mercedes and Cetra omnibuses. Sideguard Assist will save lives. The testers amongst you will confirm that based on their practical driving experience. And the same is true for Active Brake Assist 4. Exactly 10 years ago, we were the first worldwide to launch the automatic emergency brake assist in coaches, and we continuously developed it further. Now, another important step has been made. The fourth generation, ABA4, doesn't just trigger emergency braking for moving and stationary obstacles, but also for pedestrians for the first time. ABA4 is now standard fit in all Mercedes-Benz and Cetra coaches. Standard fit. Let me stress that once again. This reflects how much store we set by safety, accident avoidance, and the protection of other road users. You might wonder now when active brake assist will come for the city bus. Because the city bus um, sees many pedestrians and cyclists. My answer to this is preventive brake assist, still another world premiere. Preventive brake assist deliberately doesn't make use of the full braking power of ABA4. Instead, we have adapted the technology to city bus conditions. An automatic emergency stop, like in a coach, would have fatal consequences in a city bus. Just think of participants that are not buckled up or even standing. That's why preventive brake assist first warns the driver of pedestrians. After that, depending on the situation, it brakes with up to 50% of the maximum possible vehicle deceleration. The driver still has all the options. He can warn the pedestrian by honking, he can steer, or he can um, slam the brake. Preventive brake assist also has the potential to save lives, and it will. We are sure about that. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard that we are pushing developments in all areas. The e Citaro opens up new prospects for locally emission-free and silent city traffic. With Sideguard Assist, Active Brake Assist 4 and Preventive Brake Assist, we've once more raised the safety level of Mercedes and Cetra omnibuses. These systems mainly protect the weakest road users, namely pedestrians and cyclists. Cyclists. To summarize, omnibuses by Mercedes-Benz and Cetra offer a maximum of cleanliness and safety. Considering the numerous other innovations from the new minibuses to the unique digital service offers, we can go to the IAA with a lot of optimism. I'd like to invite you to visit Daimler Buses in Hanover. It's worth your time, I'm quite sure. Thank you very much.